Okay, so today is rather a different kind of video. Uh, it's much different. We're not talking about games. We're not talking about anime. We're not talking about comic book movies, but rather it's a very serious topic. And I think it's a very serious, uh, it's a, it's a world issue. Uh, that's how I would describe it. And I need your help on it. And let me elaborate on what it is, right? It is go. It is about Dr. Pepper. <laughs> yes, this, that's the, that's the world crisis we're facing on. I can, let me elaborate on it more. All right, and also, I mean, it's expected of me to make a video on Dr. Pepper. I mean, my name is the Dr. Pepper guy. I mean, who wouldn't expect me to make a Dr. Pepper video? So I'm making it. It's just like yeah, that, yeah. So, the, okay, the main point is this. The main point is this. The, is, something bad is happening and something needs to be shut down. And it's Subway. I, I tried to make, uh, I wanted to make it sound like a shonen as anime, but I couldn't. Let's just move on with it. But thing is this, why Subway? I mean, what beef do you have at Subway? Why do you not like Subway? That's all wrong. Let's cut that out. I love Subway, right? It, it's my go-to place whenever I, want to eat, whenever I want to eat healthy. Like when my dad, you know, whenever he's like, yeah, you eat healthy food. This fuck Wendy's, right? And it's like, I, I pull up the Subway card. I pull out the, the, yeah, I have a salad. That is from Subway. It's just like, yeah. And also, it's like a more guilty guilty pleasure thing. Because, like, I, I eat it, right? And I feel healthy. I'm just like, yeah, I'm, ba I'm maintaining my body of, like, very well. Even though it's, uh, even though I ate... Uh, 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 flaming Hot Cheetos in the morning, along with Doritos. Uh, a oh yeah, uh, Hershey's cookies and cream, right? Uh, I eat that all, all, this, all the same day, on the same day, all in the same day. Uh, there are also bagels, yeah, I eat bagels. Also the uh, noodles. Oh, okay, what else is there? What else is there? Also a lace packet by Duda. I mean, I eat that. I eat the flaming hot Cheetos. I eat the Doritos. And then I, I go to the fridge, right? I go to the fridge, uh, but there's, I don't drink water there. I eat, what, guess what I eat? I eat an ice cream sandwich as if a flaming hot Cheetos wasn't enough, as if like a bagel from Brugger's Bagels, it's actually pretty good, it's, it's amazing. And also, as if the Doritos and the Lay's wasn't enough, and also had the Hershey's cookies and cream. The cookies and creams are essential. Two to three of them. I eat all of that up. And then in the end of the day, I eat a uh, sub. I get a sub from Subway. And I'm then just like, yeah, I I'm maintaining my body so well. I mean, I'm just. Just one sub and it's just nap. It's gone. Everything, all the type of shit you eat in, it is gone, right? <laughs> so, obviously, I have no problem with Subway, and it's all and it's easy to make the links because I did say it's about Dr Pepper and I, uh, and I mentioned Subway. So something must be the issue. Oh, well, what is the issue? And I'm gonna mention it right now. What's the issue? Thing is this: the Dr Pepper in Subway sucks ass I, i'm not kidding i it's it's bad i'm not gassing it up i'm not underrating it it's bad right because as if you as, as you know my my goddamn name is the dr pepper guy so obviously dr pepper is my favorite soda and pepsi is a basic bitch not pepsi man pepsi man is all right it's, it's cool you know but pepsi is basic is a it's a basic bitch uh, let's just leave it alone. Uh, it's basic bitches are fine, but Pepsi, nah. Coca Cola is a basic bitch too, but it, at least it tastes alright. No? But, like, yes, Dr. Pepper is the god tier soda, and that's it. I I'm not having no debate, and people are usually say the best combination with Dr. Pepper is toes. It's not. The best combination with toes is our fucking taste. And now let's go and move on. Okay, so pretty much, like, 
so it's not uh, it's I'm stammering because well I'm just remembering how bad the, the Dr. Pepper from Subway was it was bad right so pretty much I know what you're gonna say you're gonna be like oh but Dr. Pepper guy it, it, it depends on the place it depends on the place but well, let's just let me tell you I, I built a log a diary you know, I, I just made it up in my mind, but anyway, you get, you get what I'm saying, I'm, I'm, it's, I am made a lock, right? Uh, you're just, just going to the streets, you know, walking down, listening to music, because uh, it's a subway, it's just a, it's a, it's a walking distance, I go get there, get, go get there, I take a sub, right? Uh, I said, it's the usual foot long and shit. I do that, and then I see like, okay, there's a Dr. Pepper, I, I see that, but Chipotle has... A minute made instead of Dr. Pepper. Uh, they have barks and minute made, but not. Is it bark use? But whatever. It has that and minute made, but it doesn't have Dr. Pepper. Chipotle, the. F <laughs> anyway, like I was saying, uh, back to the story. So I'll, I see a Dr. Pepper in the fountain, right? I'm just like, yeah, I'll have a large size because I want to enjoy my soda in the biggest way possible. So I go there, I, go, I just go there. Right, I fill a Dr. Pepper, I get the stuff, I'm just like, okay, this can't get any better. I mean, I'm ha I'm eating at one of my go-to healthy places, Subway. And then I'm just going, I'm going to where? Go going to the fountain to get some Dr. Pepper. So go get that, I'm just like, and also, I, ha I have it large. I have it large. Because there also there's a place, if you walk even further, it's Amherst, by the way. If you walk even further, it's a place called Crazy Noodles, right? It, it has Dr. Pepper, but it's just like a small can. It, that sucks. I mean, it's great, but it still sucks the size. But like, yeah, I'm just having a lot of it's Dr. Pepper. So I drink it. I, I throw it in the trash later. Yeah, I, I, just th I th threw it. Uh, uh, let me tell you how it tastes, uh, all right? Just let me give you a brief example. So imagine there's Dr. Pepper. You, 20% uh, of it is Dr. Pepper. 80% of it is actually water. Or actually, not 80%, that's like the secret it, okay? 20% is water. Something like 50 to 60, uh, let's take it like that, okay? 50 to 60, overall, 80% uh, of composition, that, uh, that's water. Then the 5% is there, it's probably the uh, ice melted as water, but I don't take ice with it because I'm not a maniac. I'm, just, I'm sorry, if you do, if you like, drink your fondant uh, drinks with ice, it's alright. But if you like, usually take a glass like that and you put on ice, and you don't use a straw to drink. How are you drinking that? I mean, the, the, the ice cubes are big. I mean, I, I'm, I'm tasting the ice cubes instead of the fucking juice or a soda. Uh, tell me how. God. No, but like I said, back to the question, I'm having a lot of side diversions, but also, this is a life crisis. This is an identity crisis. Uh, not right now. Let's just get to that later, right? Yeah. So, yeah. So, it's pretty much that. Fire, uh, not in, in, excluding the ice water composition because it didn't, didn't put any ice in my fountain drink, right? Uh, and then, 10-20% uh, was something... I said fucking human waste or human vomit, but because seriously, they're just like, uh, yeah, sorry, I, I puked on my goddamn Dr. Pepper. Uh, okay, I, I can just replace it or I can pay it back to you, but then they're just like, no, it's all right, we're gonna mix it up and give it to our customers instead. That's a good shit. That's how we tasted. Uh, that was one. And the second one was uh, to drive by, it's not even close to Amherst. So in, it, this all happened in my vacation. So when I was on the vacation, I had to go to Detroit. Right, uh, when I, uh, like, I think, okay, uh, in the middle, it w I was pretty much at Ohio, so I, I went to Detroit by a road trip, so the shark or something, uh, impl applying all that, I had to stop in the middle of Cleveland, Ohio, then you know all the drive-bys, right, where they have all the restaurants, I went there, and I, oh, shit, the notification is so loud, anyway, <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I went to the drive-by place, and there's Subway there, I just went there. I'm just like, okay, I'm just gonna get another large fountain drink with Dr. Pepper. Because, like, I, I also thought I had the same mentality. Like, okay, it, it depends on the place. It's not every... Just because one place has the same taste, taste of your favorite soda doesn't mean that it 
it's repeated. Um, it's the same on all places. It's it the place differs, right? It, the quality also differs. So I thought that as well. I went to Cleveland, Ohio, the dry by there in Cleveland, Ohio. I get I got the large Dr. Pepper. I drink the Dr. Pepper, and you know what happened? There's oh, two options. There's a, I threw it in the trash and burned it. B, I ju- I did just didn't drink it. I left it. Which one did I take? I took C. I swallowed my pride and I had to drink because I was dehydrated and I was desperate. That was that was the worst the worst thing. That was painful. If you see my last video, uh, the games one. If if you reach a certain point, I get I get to the point point where I say that. Oh yeah, when I was playing Persona Fire, and I ordered an American Shopsy, it fell flat on the ground, and uh, that and my sadness with it. But like. At least I didn't take up the doctor, uh, the uh, American Chopsy and and eat it. No, I didn't do that. Uh, I mean, I mean, uh, this uh, tasting that Dr Pepper was more painful than the American Chopsy. I, I lied. That wasn't the painful moment of my life. This was my most painful moment of my life. I, I just th- this cannot change my mind because for real, right? <laughs> It tastes so bad. It's as if it was like this, right? Uh, the uh, the people who are in charge of like the bringing or getting Dr Pepper or taking like giving Dr Pepper to different restaurants, be like, okay, here here it's your su- supply, and then the owners are just like, hey, you know, man, uh, our revenue is being low lately. We're not as widespread or as popular as Pepsi or Coca Cola. I mean, it was just really really appreciate it if you put Dr. Pepper on the fountain drinks where people, you know, can enjoy your food and are sort of at it quality time because what would they want? I mean, they, sp- they work, they spend their heart on money and they just want a great soda and some great food or a great drink or a great food or if it's a pineapple pizza, if it's p- a pizza with pineapple, uh, they're gonna enjoy it too. They might be psychopaths, but they're going to enjoy it, right? So uh, please help us. Uh, I mean, make us uh, give worldwide recognition because some countries, uh, there's a con called Dr. Pepper guy in his home country. Sadly, they don't really sell Dr. Pepper. It's import fees, and they ha- and he has to pay a lot of extra fees. I mean, a lot of extra price. Sorry. So yeah, I, I mean, please help us. I mean. Help us, uh, help, I mean, <laughs> help us in order to help these poor ass bitches or poor ass people. It's not uh, amazing people, right? You, you get me? So the subway people are like, yeah, yeah, I get you. And then just like, so do people really deserve to uh, spend their hard earned money on a good soda? Do they really want their, uh, their well, like, their money which they probably earned from crunch or all either or just working really hard on a good soda how about we make that shit so that's how subway's doctor Pepper became to be and i just i don't know about the other ones but those two i drank but it's still it's enough of an issue and i just uh, later i swallowed my pride for the second time and then I settled for fucking Coca Cola Zero. Or at least I just. Uh, then. Or. I took the smart option. I just went to the CVS Farmery. I got a uh, pharmacy. Store, not Farmery. What the fuck? This pharmacy. I took the Dr. Pepper there. And I'm just like, yeah, I'm set. This is, this is great enough. Like, seriously. What thing is this? Right? This is. And it. This then. It's an impo- it's like an emotional equation. Like uh, it just means a lot to me. Right? I mean, whenever I go to a restaurant which reads Dr Pepper, my smile grows so wide. I I don't care if the person I like, uh, you know, blocks me or sees my text and just like leaves it or turns me down. Uh, if I go to a restaurant, I get the food I love, and on the side side I get a goddamn Dr Pepper. I I am going to be happy as hell. I'm going to forget that, like hell. 
I mean, I, I just pretty much fucked up my life priorities while playing Persona Kingdom Hearts. I mean, I, I can definitely forget that for drinking Dr. Pepper. Uh, Jesus Christ. So, there's that. Right? And, because, and then I decided to make this video. Actually, the moment I tasted it, like a week after I tasted it, I wanted to upload it and, you know, put it out to the world because this is a big issue. I always wanted to get it out there. But thing was, my laptop crashed and I was just like, yeah, yeah, let's, let's fuck this. Because that video, that version of the video was long. And I don't, and it sounded like, hey guys, Dr. Pepper guy, and here I'm talking about a huge, huge world issue. And the issue is this. Yeah, that version sucked a lot. I, I, I Loki wanted to, I wanted it to fail. Like it to, I want Loki wanted to delete it because it sounds so lifeless. It, it sounded so bad. I mean, seriously, God. Yeah, thank God you're never gonna hear that version again, ever again in this life because I, I don't have the files for it either. I mean, it's gone. Yeah. So this I. The main reason why I bought this video, as you notice, was this. I had an identity crisis after drinking that Dr. Pepper, man. I did. It was just like... I know. It's, it's shocking for someone like me, Dr. Pepper guy, to have an identity crisis. The same guy who makes suicide jokes in, in private, who makes suicide jokes in private, dark edgy jokes, and makes jokes and sound like he has abandonment issues, and also jokes about his insecurities and, and his depression. No, not, no, not depression, but jokes about his insecurities. Yeah, I mean, how can he even get an identity crisis? And he even posted, uploaded a video a month back saying, hey guys, I'm done. Yeah, he doesn't sound like a guy who would have an identity crisis. Yeah, it, it's it's odd. I know, right? <laughs> but here, <laughs> but then, the, for real, the identity crisis I had was this. I was just like, wait, is Dr. Pepper really good? I am ashamed of myself to be asking that question, but I'm just like, is Dr. Pepper actually good? I, I, am I just gassing it up for the sake of gassing it up? I'm, am I just overrating, overrating it? Or am I just like being ignorant of its actual taste? I'm just like, yeah, I, I made, I, I decided this is going to be a cool username. I'm going to put it. And then I'm just decided, decided this is my favorite soda. I'm going to put it because look, like, yeah, it tastes great. And, and also it's not a basic, it's not some basic shit. Um, did I really think that? And put it, that was the real, real question I had in mind. Like, then I went to the uh, uh, CVS pharmacy. Right uh, later, after uh, that happened, that was that was bad. That those after those Dr. Peppers, I had to try it out for myself one last time. One last time. Is, is Dr. Pepper good or not? Or is it as disgusting as everybody else is saying? Am I one of them? So to, to solve an answer that, you know, that really annoying question in myself, I went to the Seavis Pharmacy. I got the Dr. Pepper. I went, came back home, you know, well, with some night, with a nice, no, not sub, with some noodles because I I don't like to eat the same shit every day, I mean or every two two weeks being like yeah sub, just like sub salad, and then sub sub salad and then sub sub noodles and then sub and no no that that's uh, no anybody would get would get a fatigue from that honestly I, I sort of wouldn't I'm sort of lying but maybe I would I don't know I'll try it out for myself later I won't because uh, that it takes up a money. A lot of money, and I don't want anybody to do that. So, I drink it, and guess what? It still tastes as good as I remember. Wait, what the fuck? Yeah, it's, it's weird. It's weird. 
And then, and then that was the final conclusive proof to be able for me to say that Subway has a dick way of making Dr. Pepper, of selling Dr. Pepper. It has a dick way of selling Dr. Pepper. And that's it. That is the one thing. So I don't believe in cancel culture because it doesn't do shit. I mean, <laughs> did you look at the little Nas X situation? Uh, that did nothing, nothing at all. But if it means that Subway is either going to improve or at least just stop making that Dr. Pepper, then I will take it, whatever it takes, actually. I low-key, I would take that chance if they were gonna stop making that shitty the version of Dr. Pepper. Like, no, seriously, that that's not a Dr. Pepper. That's pretty much like this. It's like water and Dr. Pepper. I had, you know, it had, it had, oh my god, not again. Yeah, it's like water and Dr. Pepper had unforgiving and a, a hateful sex. Yeah, it, it's like they had a really hateful intercourse session. And then they just made an abomination, which is called a Subway's Dr. Pepper. It, that's how it tastes. Uh, it, you can change my mind on that. For real. Okay? <laughs> so, if there is a chance of Subway's Dr. Pepper from getting cancelled... Police, police! I will take it any time. I and also more of a reason for to love Dr Pepper is because it's, I mean, it is it's Saturday. It's like the Spider Man movies advertise it. It's there in the Raimi movies. It's there in the. It's also there in Spider Man Far From Home. That's that's also another reason I, I'll uh, add on reason why I love Dr Pepper. I didn't notice it back then, back then with Raimi because I was I was a very youngling. But anyway, thing is this, I am just a simple man, like all of you, who has it, which gave me a, I was about to flex, who has a, <laughs> his own custom PC, but anyway, I am a simple man, just like you, you know, who wants to spend his money in the best way possible, and how does he do that? By eating some kick-ass food, and also, to stop it all off, to either drink it with water, because water is essential. I mean, Dr. Pepper is greater than water, but water is still essential, right? You, you get some hydration. Yeah, the, not that aqua. Not that aqua either. Uh, the water. Aqua. So let's just clarify that. Okay? Cool. I forgot I found that. You know, to top it all off, to, you know, if I'm really in the mood, to top it, all, top it all off with the soda I personally enjoy. Dr. Pepper or Pepsi. I mean, if you enjoy uh, Pepsi or Coke more than Dr. Pepper, I will judge you. I will judge you. I'm not lying. I am going to judge you, but at least, at least I'll have, the, I'll have a d decent amount of respect because I respect others' opinions and, you know, courtesy to be like, yeah, you do you. It's your opinion. Even if you he like pineapples with pizza. I will judge you, man. I, but I, I'll respect you. I, I am. I'm being. I'm being a hundred here. Even if I say, "Oh yeah, I disagree with you," but I'm not gonna judge you. That sounds a lot more dishonest. And it's, it's, why? <laughs> so that's all I gotta say. Seriously, it, the, it, if someone who works at Subway, if by any singular chance, I'm not saying it's a 100% possibility, it's a 0.1 or 10% or a 5%. I don't know how it is because I just don't know any person uh, I, for my circle uh, who works at Subway or something like that. But if there's some person who is involved with Subway in any place, please now don't be offended by this. Actually, take it as a lesson to stop making your soda suck a lot.